peace and love you beautiful miracles of a spiritual level of being nathan here from a spiritual level of being you have a spiritual level of being and today i want to discuss yahweh suckless the blind idiot god yahweh off now not all gnostics believe this god was fully evil some believe that he was just a blind idiot god that he was in a state of unawareness ignorance he didn't know himself and didn't know where he came from now this idea came later as the idea of the old testament god being vengeful evil and an idiot was very unpopular amongst the roman church who were persecuted the gnostics now the gnostics were big on art philosophy maths science and they were very open-minded when reading other religious texts so that you would have seen many faults with this god now god being a liar he states that adam and eve are going to die after eating the forbidden fruit well adam lived for a thousand years he started feeling hunger so he realized he had to hunt otherwise he would die so in the garden of eden maybe he didn't eat or he did eat and he just didn't feel hunger so if he didn't eat he would have died anyway so it's a contradiction here also this god not wanting humans to have knowledge he then must have wanted blind obedient servants or he lied and he wanted them to mess it all up now or he planned for them to all mess up now this being said God doesn't understand the sun he doesn't understand the earth the age of the earth the age of the universe atmosphere and oxygen god says he commands the sun to rise in the bible and in the quran well he doesn't understand that earth revolves around the sun the gnostics would be on astrology and would have seen the problem with this now the universe being created in seven days with the earth the universe is much older than the earth and the earth is also very old as well now this God doesn't understand this as he doesn't understand evolution as he says that he created Adam and Eve amongst the first walks of life, animals and stuff, whatever. Now, this being said, he doesn't understand the evolution of humans. He doesn't understand the evolution of animals. So this is man-made ideals. He doesn't understand atmosphere or oxygen. He freaks out when humans are building the Tower of Babel. Now, if heaven's in the universe, they're going to run out of oxygen when they go so far up. They're not going to be able to build that far up anyway. So he, if this god doesn't realize this he's an idiot more than likely this is a man-made invention this is a story meant to be taken symbolically now he doesn't understand the distance of the earth to the universe in this case as well the gnostics seen this god as evil because he demanded human sacrifices he demanded death and destruction cities be destroyed its people be killed and its animals even be destroyed in numbers 31 this god demands 32 virgins would be sacrificed to him. The rest would be divided amongst the soldiers as forced wives. This is rape. In Judges 11 to 12, Jafan sacrifices his daughter as a burnt offering to God so that this God would make Jafan victorious in battle. He didn't stop it. This is an evil God. Now, the Valentinians believed that Yahweh was Yarbeoth's son, an archon. This belief could derive from the Essenes, as some Essenes believed that El was the father, Yahweh was the son, and Jesus was Yahweh in the flesh. Now, a lot of Essenes end up deriving into the Gnostic Christians. Jesus was a mystic with a Gnostic way of thinking. Now, this being said, this is why the Pharisees were trying to catch Jesus out with blas on blasphemy. This is why he stated to the Pharisees that they worship their father, that, who was the devil, a liar and a murderer since the beginning. He understood these were man-made conceptions of God, as so did the Gnostics. In the Gospel of Philip, which is a Valentinian text, states that we create gods, but yet we serve them. They should serve us since we created them. So again, these are man-made ideals of God. In the Gospel of Judas, Jesus laughs at the disciples for worshipping their God. And they get angry at him. He says, what's wrong? Did I upset your inner God? So it's about your inner, your inner God, your divine spark. He was teaching about the son of man being within you, achieving for yourself. So he was bringing back an individual spiritual path for you to achieve high levels of being, high levels of consciousness to achieve spiritual gnosis knowledge of oneself knowledge of god of what you truly are that you're one with god that you are god so peace and love everyone i love you all connect to all my mind and soul namaste